Yeah. All right. So sorry about that. The recording is going to be started from here. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate. So sorry about that. Any, anyway, let me go through the, the risk disclosure really quickly once again. Uh, and uh, we'll keep an eye on current price as well. Um, okay, actually, no, I can't. i got to make it bigger here. All right, so sorry about that, guys, but I do need to cover this again for the recording. Uh, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, <coughs> so uh, let's take a look here. Okay, so structurally here, uh, we see buyers uh, trying to take it here, right? All right, looks like they're going to go for it for this 30 and maybe up, up a little bit higher here. So looking for, we're at 4,500. I'm looking for them to break it uh, back up into 05. Uh, and uh, maybe we can get to 10 and maybe even 15 here, right? There's going to be a lot of sellers in here that can get upended if we get a lot of powerful buying in here, right? We're looking for that scenario here. Okay. So let's look at the strength here. We, we know we're sell side still. Like, you know, sellers took control here and they took control here. Okay, we, We're seeing some, some nice buying, though, starting to come in here. So they're going to attack this area here. Okay, If you guys want to look for like a move above this little swing here, makes pretty good sense. That's your low volume node and look for a test into that area. Okay, this guy got off of another 30. Uh, he's still in the market here, though he traded 60. The four in parentheses here means the number of um, number of uh, uh, transactions. Okay, and then the slash right here, this means the um, number of icebergs at that area. So there's two iceberg orders there. Okay. See? See right here. So if if you guys see some of these things in, in, in what these mean here, the, the two, 79 and then two traded, but then we have another one in here as well. Now we zoom in, we can see there's another one for 38. Okay. Understood? It should answer a lot of questions. Uh, we're seeing it in the live market here, right? Now, and we we um, zoom vertically, and then it aggregated vertically, and it shows it and displays it like this. Okay, guys. So here's our move. Let's see it. Let's see it, buyers. Let's see if you can get back up a little bit higher here. We're still trending higher in here. We see a nice big cluster of selling in here. So, you know, we're getting kind of conflicted signals in here. We're still trending higher st structurally. But look at all of this selling here, right? So, you know, this is where if you, if you, your order flow um, uh, kind of reading is um, too convoluted, then we just don't know. And that's fine. You know, we we don't know what's happening here. We're not getting any clear kind of direction here. Uh, and the, the market is uh, just, it's volatile. Uh, and there's all sorts of trading and bashing around going on in here, right? We look for when, when you know, there's more kind of clear direction uh, and traders are really poised to take it a certain certain direction. Uh, and, and we're looking for that edge, right? Right now, the edge would be like, well, we're still trending higher. However, Let's, let's take a look at all of that selling in here. And the scenario is this. If we come back down and revisit this area 
and and we see more sellers we see exhaustion on the buy side here and more sellers in here watch them push it they'll push it down to here and test where these guys initiated the buying here we look for liquidity so the liquidity is actually starting to match up it would be here at this 96 and a quarter so looking to see these sellers try to reach this area here right we just, we're covering it you know, nicely here in real time so let's see it sellers you've got these other buyers on the hook here now you can trade it back down and try to get them stopped out and then we'll see if buyers support it down here look at the order book you know it, it's it's demonstrating it beautifully in real time here they're supporting it here they, they're lining up to buy here okay so um, uh, this is more like a pullback for them but look at the selling coming in here so this is where the battle starts to erupt you know we have buying in here moving that higher we got a lot of selling that came in here and we see a lot of selling coming in here too okay and we go we got to go through another scenario in here what if we get buyers back up above here and look at the support in the book right if we get buying interest up here we should we should see a squeeze up to this 07 area okay and we got the book on our side here okay now still even even though we got the book on our side look what's happening here this is it's this is kind of kind of treacherous like uh, a larger player just came in able able to skew the order book here did not trade anything uh, and then actually here he actually did get filled okay and we still see there's buying pressure in here watch them try to push it now and and get this guy upended here okay and we should see this guy is like how much pain can he handle where is he going to where is he going to get out probably up here okay let's see if this guy i'm looking for a stop run above here if we get enough buying pressure and it's going to be this guy here there we go there's our stop run okay so now do we reject did, did this guy exit now and and we don't find any more buyers here is the objective done do we find sellers rotate back in at this point i'd be looking for that scenario Okay, looking for sellers here, looking for order book skew, and then come right back down into uh, 4,500 here. In fact, this is one of the clearest things we've seen so far. This was pretty clear, you know, I, I, I think. It's like, here's this, this seller skewing the order book, probably trying to get price to come back down. Oops. He got filled, right? Well, maybe he wanted to get filled. Um, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, but look at the squeeze they put on him. Buyers came rocketing right back in uh, and, and moved away very, very quickly from that area. Okay. Uh, here's another. Here's our here's our stop run. Okay. The 127 uh, stops just triggered. Okay. Looking for sellers now to try to trade it back down into the range. We're up at our kind of low volume node up here. Okay, right in here. Okay. All right. So uh, stop run. Uh, this is another th an, uh, another order flow phenomena to look for. Stop run is usually people exiting, typically, and then we get one more push, test up here, get new buying in here. Now they're going to be the fuel to the downside. So let's watch. Looking for uh, a move back in here and sellers to come in right here right now down to O2 liquidity back down to uh, 4500 also okay the scenario that's the scenario here uh, to look for okay let's let's see if we get our sellers here here they come nothing on the order book really there are pulling on the bid though let's see you get to get a skew in here on the uh, on the offer looking for it and then we're there we go now we're gonna get our move okay let's see some more sellers come in 
and try to reach back down to 4,500. Okay, here's another little stop run to 64, about half of this one. Come on, sellers, just push it, 4,500, there we go. Okay, done, target, target, achieve there, okay. This is, uh, guys, uh, really like uh, this is something I, I think you'll find um, very, very helpful uh, um, to see a stop run. And then, you know, we're looking for, we were even looking for in this scenario here, the, the, the sellers to come back down uh, below it here. We got one more push. Get new people involved in the breakout here. We don't see a stop run at this point. The stop run happened here. We don't see a stop run up here. This is new, basically new buying coming in. And this is where that new buying is, um, they're selling. Okay, now I, I, I'm, I'm like, I don't want to um, uh, say that that's like 100%. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm speculating on that. There's no, no question I'm speculating on that. Uh, but uh, we do know that this is a stop run and we do know that this is new buying that's for sure that that's fact right because we don't see a stop run up here i mean just a little little one up here okay this is new buying in here we know that right so then we go through the scenario of if this is new buying if we can get down below here and get selling starting to come in well, then we can reach the other side of the range and, and look for and anticipate a stop run on the other side of the range. And that's what unfolded here in that scenario. So we don't know uh, that, uh, uh, you know, these guys here are the same as down here. We don't know that. Okay? But we, it, this, it's going through the scenario here uh, of understanding the order flow in here. Right? Basically, they're on the hook. Okay, when we, we covered this the other day, um, you know, and this is more advanced stuff, uh, especially in this environment. Um, the, uh, uh, when we covered this the other day, we're looking at uh, like a, a move lower and, and, uh, and we started to note where that volume was transacting. Here, here's our move guys outside of the range here, looking for 90 here, pretty strong selling. So I'm looking for them to now really, really move it here. Uh, looking for the sellers to try to move it. Shoot, sorry. Okay, nice, nice, uh, strong move from the get-go here. Okay, here's our low volume pullback. Looking for sellers to retest it back down to 95. And we're not going to get it. It's going to be a false breakdown. See the buy. See the buying. This is that scenario we just covered. The second scenario is is the uh, the buying back up above this area. Now we're looking for O3. Skew in the order book. Back to move to O3 here. This is where it gets really really tricky, right? But look at the volume here. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Here, and here. See how they're upended. See how the sellers are upended. Okay, and then here's the move back up to 03. Now let's see. We got an iceberg, a couple icebergs in here. Three different icebergs. All right, let's go let's go through um, some of the questions here. Okay, Dove, thanks for the profile. Yep. And uh, looks like mean reversion. 
yeah i mean i think we're going to probably trend um uh at some point here uh so uh not sure exactly when that's going to unfold but we're looking for it in here and we're looking for big traps like this this breakdown is kind of a trap as well this is see see the trap here like uh, sellers and then buyers back up above it just like this one here sellers buyers back up above it squeeze okay buyers up here sellers below it looking for it let's see it and then let's see it move back down to 4500 okay stop run as well that's good we want to see a stop run we want to see it exhaust out Basically, meaning it's it's not new new positions here. They're 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 exiting. Okay, let's see if we get our sellers now below it here, down here, down here, sellers and move. They move it down to like uh, forty five hundred. See these guys pull here at O two, and let's see them move back down to forty five hundred. Buyers still fighting it here and supporting it at 0, 02. Yeah, they're supporting it here. This one's tricky. Ah, thanks, thank you, Yash. Uh, I got those volume strips in there. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, that's the same video. That's what I found as well uh, years ago. It was on the CME uh, website. Yeah, 2011, exactly. Uh, he, he's, you know, he's the father here of, uh, of volume, uh, auction market theory, volume profile, um, market profile. Uh, that's the, the godfather. Uh, Marcus, let's see. Um, does a stop run basically mean uh, a run up to fill um, no, it means it, well, so yeah, it, it means like there's, when we get into a position when, you know, smaller players like us usually get into position, we're using a stop loss order. Uh, larger players aren't really using those. Um, uh, it depends. Like, you know, I should, it's not, this is huge, huge generalizations. Um, but you know, th they'll provide liquidity and have it go into them and even provide more later. Um, etc. I mean, you can see also when they, you know, dump and, and get it wrong. Um, but uh, uh, the um, yeah, actually, guys, here's that same same scenario here. Did we get enough? We had the stop run here. We go higher here, and now we're we're going to look and see if we get um, the sellers in here now to try to get uh, back down below, uh, back into the range here. So looking for O1. And 4,500 here. Now it wasn't much of a stop run. This one was way better here. This this scenario is way better. You, you know, it got them on the hook. Uh, so um, so basically, let's suppose that uh, uh, you you sold. You're looking for the move down, and we were looking for the move down. They were starting to move it away. They got upended here, right? And then the squeeze happened here. So anyone who sold down here uh, is um, uh, light. Now their position, once you sell, your position is now you are a buyer. Okay, that's what you need to do uh, in order to exit the market. And where, where uh, can you find buyers? Well, if you can find where people are in pain um, and uh, they're gonna be compelled to be buyers right and that's where we look for a stop run we're looking for stop transactions so we got one up here 51 we went a little bit higher here maybe it's not enough maybe we there's still maybe stops up here maybe it's above 10 so you know maybe it's just not quite enough here um, and uh, uh, for to, to kind of get 
um, sellers to come engage and try to move this lower here to try to reach other stops on the other side. Marcus says, answer your question. Uh, is the plus 2346 iceberg indicator uh, bullish? Uh, yes, this is plus here. Um, so if I zoom out, uh, this is giving me the overall reading here. Um, so uh, since I opened my book map, this is my overall reading. So we have negative icebergs in here, but we have positive icebergs here. Overall, it's, it's positive uh, uh, 2,700. Yeah, you're welcome, Marcus. Guys, bigger picture, we're just in this big range, big kind of nothing uh, nothing really decisive yet. We're just bashing back and forth. Yep, Yonel, you're welcome. All right, here's a skew in the order book here. Let's see the reaction here. Look at the look at these sellers coming in here. We should our sell uh, limit sell orders above here. Look at the skew in the order book. You can even see it clearly in the heat map. You can see it clearly uh, in the COB column here as well. So now looking for sellers to try to move it. Let's see if the reaction is the reaction to this selling liquidity in here. Um, uh, more sellers. Does it repel buyers? Okay, so far, so so good. Now look at we have an iceberg in here, transacting on the bid, and moving it lower, and still transacting. He fully executed for 233. Okay, here we go, back down into these areas here. Let's see the move, and I want to see it now trade through here. I want to see a decisive move here. So we're looking for the move down to 4500. We're almost. I mean, I kind of kind of missed that. Um, now we're looking to see for the scenario here. Can they break it? Can they break 4,500? Can they break it on size? Then we're looking for 95, 90, and uh, the bigger move. If this isn't your kind of environment, um, you know, you're looking for, then just do not trade it. It's tricky stuff. Like, you know, buyers back up above it here. Get the squeeze on. Back up into 008 liquidity here. This would be the target now. If we get buyers back up above 03. This is one of the re big reasons why, um, let's see if Alan is in here. Uh, you know, we look for these moves. To high liquidity, or you know the the uh, range down here, and take take partial profit, uh, and then uh, look to um, uh, move your stop down, or look for uh, getting back in, uh, uh, and and looking for another move back down, okay, and taking profit again, okay. In this case, you'd have to reverse. Now we're looking for the squeeze higher up into the 08. This is, we've seen this now this move now, I don't know three or four times, right? Same idea here and here. Look at the volume. So they're upending these guys, you know, getting back up above this kind of uh, 03 area here. Yeah, good morning, Alan. So, yeah, I mean, this is an edge. I mean, when we, when we saw them coming in here, this is an edge. Like, we're looking for them to move it down to just you know, um, a 4,500. Okay. When we see them come back up above here, we're looking for them to move it to 08.
Now, one of the other things on the higher time frame to take a look at here uh, is, um, you know, we're looking for um, this kind of scenario here, but with much more volume, much, much more. And then we're looking for the bigger move the opposite direction. Okay, so for example, um, if we can get back up, up above and break out and look like, well, you know, it looks like the day is going to trend higher. Uh, and uh, we get really strong volume, like this kind of volume, like we see over in here. Um, we see nice, very strong, distinctive move. Um, look for that to be on the hook for the move the other way as well on the higher time frame. Yeah, what a chop indeed, M buds. Yeah. But, I mean, can you guys see the, you know, you, you see what's happening in here. You can see how, like, uh, you know, we come back up. We're looking for it to start to trend. That's the primary scenario. Low volume pullback. Uh, it, it should fit. Look at the, uh, it's all, every time it's been a low volume pullback in here. Look at the volume here. Uh, you know, here's here's the move lower and look at the volume dots in here compared to each other. Uh, and uh, does not matter, though. You get buyers above it. You got the squeeze. And you get the move higher. OK, this too, like, uh, uh, let's see, buyers here. OK, sellers, they even up up, up in here that like this, this move back down in here. It's basically a low volume pullback. Okay, now we're down below that area and sellers coming in. So we did not get the move to 08, and that's what we're looking for to test that liquidity. We still might get it. So it's almost kind of like look at your clusters in this kind of choppy environment. Now this is you know this is very short time frame that we're looking at in here. We'll cover the, the higher time frame in just a minute. Um, but uh, look for these clusters and then look for the squeeze. Like this is this is looking good for a drop here. Uh, these guys are on the squeeze, looking for the squeeze down to 95 here. Strong volume. Okay, we should get the move down to 95. I mean, it's it's demoing it in real time for us, which is great. So, you know, here we go. Check it out. That buy volume, seller's below it, and the squeeze is on. Stop run. 128, 52. Okay, let's see if buyers can come roaring back in right back up to 4,500 here where it dropped from. Okay, let's see if we get the same scenario down here. Like, are we going to start to trend or are we going to get more sellers on the hook down here? Okay, no stop run. And if we can get buyers back up above it, then we'd be looking for the move back up into 4,500 and then maybe even 08. A lot of icebergs in here though. So that's something, the 500 just transacted in here. Okay, we're back up above that selling here. We gotta get back up here though, 97. Otherwise it's gonna hold the structure, right? We gotta see the structure break. Even in here, the structure is breaking. The breaking point is in the middle here. You know, it, it retests back up here. But once you start to get the buyers in here, we're looking for the move higher. All right, same idea.
kind of reminds me of like a if you guys remember the, the old mad magazines um spy versus spy anyone remember remember that so i, I don't maybe i'm not well there was even a movie made out of it <laughs> you guys remember yeah 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 it was like i think it was the back page right of uh, mad magazine uh, and they did they did make a movie out of it it was crazy um yeah so so th this kind of reminds me of it like you know it, like w one guy like you know it's like huh i got you down here and he and he turns around and stabs the other guy in the back on the upside you know and it's like haha i got you here and then they're going to stab we're going to stab you in the back on the other side and it's just back and forth like this like looking for it looking for the get these guys on the hook let's see the squeeze let's see the move to 4500 here looking for it uh, let's see if we can even get higher here and get even above this 4501 on buying then we're looking for 08 liquidity we had two stop runs 180 161 okay let's see if we get a retest back up here buying and we should get the move to 4500 Okay. And then we can look at, you know, so we're looking at kind of um, uh, yeah, this kind of selling down here and then buying back up above it, which it is doing. So we're still looking for a little bit higher here. Um, but bigger picture, there's a bigger picture one. This whole zone and then a move back up above it would be back up to 08. Right. So we're open to that scenario, too. But first, we got to get to 4500. Okay, it's a fractal event of uh, of this uh, of this concept. So we have two two uh, a smaller event and then a bigger event here. All right, let's take a, a, a just a breather here on all this back and forth in here, um, and. Um, we did break break down from the, the the pennant here that we kind of drew up. So and basically what this just means is that this is kind of one big value area and they're they're kind of moving it away from it, right? So we're we're privy to that or we we're looking at that too. Are we going to start to trend lower? Um, then we're looking for more selling in here uh, to come back down, retest this low, and then hit 90, uh, and then see if they can even break that, uh, which is kind of low of the uh, of the day here is down here over the cash session around 86 or so 87 something like that and then looking looking for the move outside right to move it away from this big area here okay so we're bigger picture that's kind of what we're looking at the minute at the moment here we're just really kind of watching some of the order flow within here some of these events that we're looking for so you know uh, uh, it, it, does that scenario start to play out then we look for those moves See, look at the battle. Look at the sellers come in and fight fight it here. They don't want these sellers are really trying not to get it to come back up to 4,500. Now they're committed. Okay, now they're going to feel the pain. Here we go. Let's see. Not only 4,500. I think we can get due to this selling in here. If they can get upended, we can come back up into 05 and 08. If we get enough, if we get enough buyers, that's really the question here. Not enough buyers. Not enough buyers. If we get sellers at 96, we should get a nice drop into 90. Should be real nice. And it should be quick.
All right, sellers, you got the door wide open here. You got these guys on the hook up here. Let's see the move down to 92-ish and 90. Here we go. Hold on. Okay, after, the, after we get some clarity on this move here, uh, then we're, we're going to zoom out and look at the bigger picture because we haven't, we haven't, we've been addressing all of this kind of back and forth in here and, and understanding the order flow here. Uh, you know, even if you don't trade this, like it, you don't, it's not, I mean, this is not a trading room. It's not a recommendation, um, but we want to understand the order flow events in here. You'll see this on all time frames, you know, and look for these scenarios here. So like right now, like this could turn into a nice bigger you know, higher time frame trade, right? Uh, and, and we're looking for it to unfold. They could, we couldn't find the buyers. We we're open to that scenario and that squeeze. Didn't find enough. Once we start to see the selling coming in, we're looking for the move. Okay, and still looking for the move. Looking for it to continue. And okay, maybe we can get down to the 80, our 85 level where there was liquidity down here previously. It's not there anymore. It's up here at 90 instead. Okay, so a question to you guys, uh, if, if you guys are, if this, is this too much? Like, uh, I mean, it's really quick, um, but where where do you think things would be upended here for these sellers? And you got to answer quickly. Okay, I'm sorry, where, where would the buyers take control to be more precise? No, yeah, 95, 95 here. Gazoo is pretty close. See, see, see where the sellers took control here. So we're looking for the buyers right now. Here we go. So we never even got down to 90, and and here's our you know spy versus spy, um, uh, getting these guys on the hook, getting the move back up to 4,500. Okay, you, you maybe the, I was the the question wasn't quite right. Like uh, if you guys said forty five hundred as like the stop run or like where that event is going to take place, yes. But the up ending is going to happen right here. Yeah, ninety seven. I I would I'll, that I think that's pretty good too, um, Alan. It's just a book map is so visual, like you know, it's right in front of us there. Like, this is where the selling came in, leg lower. Um, this is where they're getting up. I, I'm just I'm shocked we couldn't even get down to 90. That That's kind of shocking. We got down to the first leg or first area of liquidity down here, okay? Now, beautiful squeeze to the upside, okay? Now, we're even looking for 05. Yeah, I, I like it, uh, David. Yeah, I I still I even like this better, uh, 08 up here. And and now we're gonna look at that bigger scenario here, the bigger scenario here. So let it's it's this one here. Okay, this one upended, and then this one upended. So we're looking for the upend. Okay, so that's what you guys were saying, maybe. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, boy, I mean, we're just seeing like if it's so fractal here. Uh, so now we're looking for that scenario on the higher time frame, like a more like a, a kind of a, a bigger range move here. The scenario is playing out really nicely. Looking for these buyers to try to do it. 05, 08, above 4,500 here. Yeah. So if you guys were, if you meant that um, on the higher time frame, that's correct. Or, you know, just uh uh, maybe I wasn't so clear with my uh, my question. God, even if if we're really fractal here, you know, we'd be looking at uh, uh, something like this. Then, you know, so we're looking for ten actually.
not not eight, but the liquidity is here at 05 and eight. Right. This is another thing like, you know, yeah, great. You know, fractal markets. I, I love it. I, I love being able to ma match up this stuff. Um, uh, and I look for something like it, it's just so, so, uh, you know, beautiful to see. Uh, but it's I, I don't care. Like the liquidity is here at 05 and 08. Fractal move should get to 10. Right? But the liquidity is here. And this is this is where the sellers are. Buyers want to meet the sellers. That's where they are. You need to get above the century in this environment. Okay, cool, pro, more more quizzing. All right, yeah, good, good. Well, yeah, um, that's uh, I'll, I'll do that. Um, uh, thanks, thanks for the feedback. Okay, guys, we're at 05. So, David, there you go. Nice, nicely done. Still looking for it higher here. <laughs> All right, you're in. Test us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, we'll go through the scenarios, you know, uh, and uh, uh, and then start to uh, uh, look at it. Like, you know, interesting event. Liquidity here filled. Now they're on the bid here. Now they're getting filled. Okay, so we 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 found some sellers here. Okay, are they going to try to take control after that event at O three seven five? No, no clarity yet. Forty-four ninety-eight. Did they take control? Um, yeah, I mean, you, I mean, you see the cluster up here. It's kind of I, I marked it up because of this here, right? This is where they drove it lower. Typically, we look for like if sellers came in here. Um, we're looking for sellers to support that move. So usually, you know, uh, you'll see either liquidity in here, or usually what happens is the liquidity um, actually, you know, comes in right after that move, and they kind of really slam the door here. Uh, and, uh, uh, you know, just telling traders, just back off, don't come back up here. Um, and um, uh, we get the uh, maybe kind of some some you know, retest, but uh, likely they don't, they don't take on that liquidity. Okay, kind of like this guy up here. Like, no one's even tested him, and he's still in the order book. Right? But if buyers want to take him on, that's where he is. Okay, so this move, uh, this fractal move here, um, it could still be in play, but all it did was trade 05. So think about your your trade management on this, and this is I can't really quiz you on this. Uh, this will just be, have to be something that you're comfortable with or not. You know where to where to take you know kind of reduce the risk, uh, move your stop, um, or maybe you're all in or all out in in these types of um, um, scenarios, right? That can really build confidence uh, and. Um, uh, you know, uh, and then look for the next one and continue to do that. Now, I mean, this is really back and forth stuff. We're and we're looking for a bigger move here to unfold. We have the fractal move and the and this kind of uh, you know uh, uh, pivot line here at at forty five forty five hundred. Uh, we haven't looked at the bigger picture, and look at it. <laughs> it's just such a mess. Uh, look at the fifteen minute chart uh, here. All right, look at the hour chart here. Like, still on the hour chart, like, boy, we, we're not getting much clarity at all. Uh, and uh, this is just uh, like a porcupine uh, in here. Nothing, all right? But we're, we're reading it. I mean, we see what's what's fueling it, right? And we're learning about in, in, in real time, like, and we're looking for those scenarios to start to unfold. So, in terms of any kind of bigger picture move right here, I don't, I don't see it yet. Uh, we have potential actually. Um, there is potential here, 
this this is pretty typical. You know, your your and let's go over this. Like uh, your pennant, your flags, you know, your whatever whatever you want to call it. You see the move out, and then you see the retest back up to where it dropped from here. Same ideas that we're covering. Now, did it accept? No. It came back up here to 05, and that was as far as it went. Now sellers are coming back in. Okay, and we're down below our little area here. So now sellers looking for them to take it right back down. Okay, and test these buyers. First area is kind of here where they broke out from, right? Right here. Okay, sorry guys, I kind of missed it. I, you know, but the scenario is once we get down below here, this kind of uh, uh, pivot here, and we see selling in here, they're going to drive it to test these guys here at 96. Now, if we get sellers below that, they're going to go come back for that 90 liquidity down here. Uh, 4498 did buyers take control yeah yeah I, I would say um, in, in there yes you would scale at 90 okay there's our move to 90 guys that we're just we just went through this scenario here um, and uh, kind of move away for just my eyes for just a minute and the move unfolds so I mean this is kind of a bigger picture move uh, or I, I was saying like I don't quite see it and then I kind of backed up uh, and uh, here's the move outside. Here's the retest back to where it broke from. And here's our here's our, our move now. Okay. So and this is pretty strong selling. Again, looking for the sellers to now drive it lower. 85, 80, uh, 77. Uh, they want to and we want to move away from this whole area here. And this I know this is just turning into a mess. Um, but uh, I want to keep it on here for now because we saw this event so many times happen. Uh, and uh, uh, so, you know, don't get caught. I mean, if, if anything, um, don't get caught up in it uh, would be the, uh, uh, if you don't, you don't need to trade it. You don't need to scalp or whatever, uh, but don't get caught up in it. Because we know that that's a, a, a very likely scenario. Okay, so bigger picture now is something like this. Right? New 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 trading zone. Can sellers, you know, a, a drop it below the, the swing here. Okay, and then we'll get a new profile down here. So let's zoom in. Let's take a look. Now, another thing, and, and this is really, this is where it gets, it gets really tricky. And, and in fact, it's really funny. Um, what, you know, like, uh, for example, um, uh, you, let's say, um, let's say uh, yesterday or, you know, Scott um, was, uh, you know, he, he, he went for two hours yesterday in his webinar. Uh, so, and he always says like after about an hour and a half, like, oh, you know, I should get out because it start, it, every time I, I start to look to get out, like I'm getting these really big stops and icebergs uh, starting to unfold. So um, wh why do you guys think that? Why, why uh, um, always when he's just, you know, trying to uh, uh, end the webinar? What, what do you think? Exactly, Alan. Exactly. Exactly, David. Spot on. European close. Uh, so, uh, and then we're looking for follow through after the, after that European close. So Euro European close, and this is this is Friday too. So they're closing for the weekend, right? So we're going to get some volatility here, and we're we're just getting into that area right now. So we we got to be open to that. We got to be open to this. Like we're looking for a trending move right now. 
outside of the range. But we got to figure, like, you know, what what's Europe going to do? Are they going to, like, you know, uh, are they going to start to cover and be flat for the for the for the weekend? Or are they going to try to really move this and trend lower and and then just uh, 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 you know look to uh, provide liquidity at these lower levels and drive it to those areas? And I don't see much liquidity down here right now. Seventy five and eighty, uh, forty four fifty. That's where it is. Yeah, exactly, David. This you have to ask yourself: Do, do you do you want to stay long over the weekend? Or do you want to even get caught up? Let's say some event happens over the weekend that uh, uh, is, uh, uh, you know, kind of bullish. Um, uh, on kind of sounds unlikely with, with uh, geopolitical stuff going on and other things going on. But you know, it's possible. Uh, uh, maybe uh, some some sort of announcement comes in about uh, inflation, or I, I don't know. Just, just let's suppose. Boy, you're you're on the hook. Um, and you, there might be a gap up, like you know, uh, on on Sunday, uh, Sunday evening, like you know, way up at like, um, um, you know, forty five fifty or something. Maybe liquidity up here. Sixty. You know, do you do you want to take that gap risk? Yeah, Russia pulling out. Exactly, David. I mean, we yeah, maybe they capitulate, you know, on this, or maybe some sort of deal is 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 made, some sort of agreement. Exactly. We just don't want to be on the hook for that, or and they don't want to be on the hook for that. <laughs> oh god uh bowie yeah no never mind i'm not i'm not going there yeah the eth was much easier yeah a, a lot of times you'll see that um you know you get these nice trending moves in the in the extended trading hours uh just like easy peasy all right, here here we go. We're getting our answer. So like now, looking for, they're going to be charging after and trying to get filled at this these areas of high liquidity. Okay, huge stop run here, huge. Okay, almost a thousand right there. Did they get filled in here? I want to know if they got filled in here. Not really. Not really. They ran the they ran the stops. I'm looking forward to go lower still. I, I know we, we have a scenario here because it's a massive stop run. If we get buyers back up above here, uh this this false this could be a really nice false breakdown and a move back up into the range, back up into this liquidity here at eighty. Uh, oh eight, in fact. Oh eight. It's it's that good. It's it's you know, this really gets a lot of people on the hook. Um, one more move lower to get them on the hook, put it that way. Okay, let's see the reaction to this liquidity here at 90. We should see some more sellers in here. I'm still looking for them to trade into 80 and, and 75 here. Then I'd be looking for maybe the move back up above uh, 80, 86 here. You know, what's, what's really nice is, uh, uh, like Scott was talking about, um, you know, how he would uh, uh, move the market. Uh, he has he had so much liquidity. And and how, how did he? Um, you know, he, he was able to, um, he was able to set an area of high liquidity. And then, you know, let's say above the market, uh, you know, sell liquidity. He, and he wanted to be a seller. 
uh, and then he, he starts actually moving it, uh, coming in and with market buys, uh, getting people enticed, advertising, getting them to go long with him to trade up into his liquidity. So that, that's possible here. Look, stop run down below, massive stop run. And let, how, do, how can we get um, this liquidity filled in here? Okay, get people going the wrong way, getting them to be buyers, and then also advertising in here above our 90 level here with lots of buying, you know, chasing right after it. So first first move would be the 95 liquidity here, but the second one would be 4,500, uh, 05, and then 08. Okay, so far low volume pullback on this one. I'm, I'm I, I still want to see at this European close. I want to see them uh, still go lower here at 80 and then 75, and then I want to see them cover later. So I'm looking for the volatile move down, back down into here. I'm open though to um, uh, back up above 90 in the, in the squeeze. Okay, and we know what that looks like. Okay, we we went over it many times here, right here. And then buyers back up above here, up into 95. And we're going to get our answer here. Ten minutes to go. Ten years at the high of day. Thank you, David. Excellent. Okay, look, looking for these buyers to squeeze it up to 95. There's one more scenario to go through here, and, and because of the volatility in here, I'm going to go through it. This is this could be like looking for that squeeze and then sellers below it. Now, these guys, it's kind of a false little breakout here, right? So we gotta, we've got to be aware of that one too. We, we see that a lot. In this case, they're going to go for it here. They should, they should hit 95. We've got enough buying up here yet again to move it now. Here's the retest. We're, we're seeing more buyers up here. So we're, we're, we're looking for them to try to extend it. Okay, let's see it. Let's see it, buyers. Should be able to do it. There's a stop run, 173. Still looking for higher. Sorry, guys. I, you know, I, I really like, I really appreciate that suggestion um, for uh, asking questions in here. But boy, it's it's hard. Um, you know, we're we're really kind of glued to it and watching the order flow, and then it, it's really shifting and changing quickly. No confidence in anything. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that, you, that that gives us confidence is is when we know that an event took place and we know the position, basically. Uh, and then we, we can go through and look for, um, uh, you know, these kinds of squeezes to unfold. And I think with, with some, some pretty good confidence, um, you know, just look and, and practice and go through the scenarios here. Uh, now, these are just really short-term moves, though. Now, they could play into bigger ones, though. It's fractal. It's like we are saying. Okay, the, the bigger move here is like, okay, well, you know, selling selling coming back in and still moving it lower here. The only thing, the only caveat we have here is this European close. And that's a big one. 
Okay, if we look at this though in terms of technically what's kind of going on in here, we should go lower, 80, 75, uh, back down to uh, uh, 4450. Uh, lower highs, lower lows, um, more selling here, right? Everything's pointing toward that. You know, bigger picture. And let's take a look at our bigger picture. Yeah, see, see that this is a little more decisive move, right? A little, not much, but a little more. Here, big, big wick on this candle here on this 15 minute. Uh, it w it made a lower high up here, uh, and then uh, selling down here. They broke the low here. But it's back in the range. Okay, they need to come back here and then break it. And then we can get the nice move down into 45. Uh, yeah, I actually 63 looks pretty good for the first area. Um, or even this one, uh, 76, 63, and then 50. So 76. So the, here's liquidity at 76. Um, 53 or 63, right? Not, not, not much shaking there. So it's really 75. And then uh, and then 50. So yeah, Alec, then then uh, you know it is it is rough. It is it's it's you know it's tricky. Uh, uh, although we we did just kind of outline the bigger picture, right? Um, and uh, and looking for that you know to unfold. Uh, but on on the all of this back and forth in here, like we we couldn't really cover anything, uh, except for looking for these order flow events and and people getting upended, uh, and and the back and forth in here. Yeah, so short term it did it did hold this this little uptrend line. Yes, right here. So yeah, that 95 is still still on the table here, right here. Okay, it's starting to break it though right now. And test it. Higher time frame, you're looking from pre-market. Okay, let's just zoom out. Boy, I mean, higher time frame like. Um, uh, it's an it's a really interesting move like uh, you know uh, a move back down here to, and retest like here where the where they initiated the buying and the move higher uh, just after seven seven uh, east coast time here i still like this move to 75 liquidity here uh, we had wicks on our higher time frame candlestick we also have it kind of you know uh, just a little bit below where they they kind of uh, uh, moved it higher here but we do we can't you know, we do have that liquidity here at 80, but, but there's more. Well, they just shifted. They just shifted it. Yeah, from 75 up to 80. So maybe this, this guy is start, they're getting a little impatient, and they'd rather be sellers here instead of here, right? So we just saw that. I mean, this is what is, is so dynamic about it, about order flow, right? We, we just got a new picture here. So we were looking at 75 earlier, but now like hmm, maybe maybe 80 is uh, is better. 75 is pre-market POC, okay. All right, so we just got a few more minutes here for that uh, European close. They're going to start to cover. I'm going to see the move back up, 95. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to go for it here. Let's see it. Back up to 93 and then 95. No, 
No, not not at all. Not at all. Selling coming right back in. All right, they're going to go for it. 80. Let's see it. Quick move. Quick move into 80. I see you're still waiting in the bushes for potential reversals <laughs> at 76 and 68. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it like, like I said, like um, we're going through order flow events and scenarios and reading, uh, and and that's what we, that's our goal here. Um, it doesn't have to be a tradable event, but if we understand some of these concepts in here, we can start to wrap trading strategies around them. No, no problem. No problem at all. I mean, there's there's enough movement in here, like, you know, from 892 down to, you know, 82 here. I mean, that's 10 points, right? You could have been in and out. You could have played this, uh, uh, you know, looking for this these uh, sellers to be upended and the short squeeze back up to the top of the range many times over in here, many, many times over on, on different uh, time, time frames as well. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, that could be a strategy here. Uh, and boy, you probably would have been hitting about 90%. But, you know, it, it, that would be a very, very kind of very low time frame. Um, and I know that, uh, you know, a lot of people don't do that. So uh if if you kind of stretch it out for a little bit higher time frame it becomes really kind of difficult i think uh you have to stretch it out to a much much higher time frame i think right so you're looking at kind of like the bigger picture here uh and um and the possible move um yeah thanks kazoo uh, that's nice uh, yeah these rotations i mean it's it's really the order flow within the rotation that's what it is that's what we're looking for uh, and then where where are people going to be kind of stuck uh, and and feel the the pain? So okay, David, um, that's really good study, David. So you 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 know that the European longs uh, um, um, the the markets still have the longs on their hands from the morning. Yeah, I mean these kinds of studies, uh, and then in you know mix that into your order flow, uh, you know, to support that, that view, and you really got something. <laughs> Alec, one day you think you got it, next day you're a deer in the headlights. Um, uh, yeah, take it, you know, I, I always kind of um, recommend uh, uh, to take a step back and just kind of, um, you know, watch watch uh, uh, how things unfold these these uh, order flow events and then once you start to see them enough then you know you can start to um, look at the scenarios to start to play out and uh, and then it becomes higher probability I always use Alan as an example in here um, <laughs> yeah yeah David patience in, indeed I mean like uh, uh the uh but i always use alan as an example in here like uh of like he he came came in here like, a couple of years ago and and uh God, i don't even know if it's like maybe three years ago now alan it's been a while uh but uh uh he came in and said well that's great but how do i use it and it's like okay well let's go through a low time frame uh strategy uh and start to you know, look like, OK, I'm looking for this event only to a certain area and I'm looking for getting out. I'm looking for it to reach only that area. Like right now, we see some buying clusters in here, but there it's a lower high and sellers are coming in. So I'm looking for 80 here. I'm looking for it. We've seen this enough times here um, that lower highs, even with the volume in here on the buy side, they're going to they're going to feel the pain like uh, they can't. They just can't seem to lift it. So watch the sellers come in here and watch the quick move into 80. And then wh where do you get in? Yeah, you get in right here, basically. Uh, you know, 85 uh, and a tight stop. 
really tight stop because this move you're looking for it to move right now you're looking for it to unfold right now and you're looking for it down to uh you know uh, this liquidity here they're even front running a little bit maybe 81 right and that's it and then you get out it's a high you know higher probability move here just due to the order flow in here I mean, you could you could you could even move your your stop to break even at this point. You know, it's just a, it's a really small event, but like you know, it starts to build that confidence. And then you could extrapolate that into much bigger moves. It's like this is the bigger move here. And once you get on the side of that bigger move, it's it's really easy. It's it's really simple. I I find like like um, you know you just ride it, um, and it it's just um, it's a it's a joy. All right, guys, I would I would have taken some profit out of that to be honest. Right around here, I'm still looking for eighty to transact. But I, I like to front run a little bit and just get out. Uh, and uh, yeah, so actually I would have been, been like getting out around this stop run here as well. Okay, so there, there's, you know, kind of, kind of a real time uh, example of, of uh, Alec. I just wanted to cover like um, a very short term, very low time frame um, occurrence here. You know, it's not, these are not trade recommendations. It's just a consideration for a setup. Like what to look for and then how to look for kind of some, some sort of higher probability move. Uh, and then, uh, you know, and then that event is done. And look for the next one. Interesting European close. Um, so just some bashing around back and forth but we're looking for the trending move now guys so let's see if we can continue here with the trend okay so european close coming to an end looking for the easy move go with it uh and uh, let's see if we can get down to this liquidity here at uh at 44.50 yeah exactly alec uh look, look for those moves around uh, uh some of those areas um or let's see, you're, no, you're replying to somebody. Um, 832 is buying exhaustion. 1132, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, up in here. And this is where, like, we, we were kind of zooming out, and we, we covered this here. Like, uh, it's like, yeah, you look, cluster of buying, they can't even get it back up here. And it did exhaust here. Here's our exhaustion up here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Right? And and look at the buying. Buying in here is not bad. And, you know, there's some in here. We got to kind of, you know, look at the, zoom out a little bit and look at the kind of bigger picture. But there's just not a lot here. And there's some in here. They're trying, and then, boy, they're done. Yeah, and then the higher probability move on that would be just down to here, or liquidity, you know, this area here, or maybe maybe down here, uh, 82. All right, guys, so we, so we went down, we went down below 80, uh, down to 75, just shy of it. And then we're seeing the move right back up pull back uh, liquidity in here uh, this is the uh, uh, little kind of pivot area here right where we can see the test up here uh, and then if if buyers can get back up above it we can get a move back to 85 but it, it's trending now the Euro European markets closed I, I'm looking for the trend con to continue at this point 
we, you know, we, we have some decision here, uh, like kind of bigger picture. Let, let's just, I'll get rid of the mess here in just a second, but uh, bigger picture here, uh, you know, we had this kind of pennant, we had the move, we had the retest back to it, and then the seller's moving it away. We're even looking though for a potential move back up into this area here. We're open to that area, at that move. Um, they Once they start to come back in, and it was it was here, we, we saw it, um, that they just couldn't do it here um, uh, in this area here. That's when we're looking for the sellers to try to move it lower. Okay, and now we're trending, right? So we just stick with the trend. <laughs> we are at a Tom level, okay. Yeah, well, I'll turn it over to Tom in just a minute here. Um, I just want to go through, you know, how many, this is this is uh, something to take a look at. Like, how many times did we see this uh, set up in here? Uh, or this order flow phenomena in here of, of noticing, like, you know, sellers, sellers back up above, or I'm buyers back up above, sellers down below, um, and then that, uh, uh, where they get upended. Okay, down in here, God, I mean, I think I erased a bunch of them um, or deleted a bunch of them, but we saw a bunch in here as well. Let me get rid of this. Help clarify. Yeah, so we saw it many times in here. Okay, here, in here, in here. Uh, here is a nice one. Uh, here, this one was a nice one as well. We're even looking for a, a, a measured move up into here, but the liquidity is here at 05. Uh, nice one, David. And then we this was the retest back to our, our kind of pennant here, or you know, where they broke down from, retested back to where they broke down from, more sellers. Down. And look at where the sellers came in here right at, at, at this kind of 4500 that's where they took control here we're looking for that and then we're looking for the high liquidity to trade All right and then we saw it again in here back in stop run beautiful stop run uh and then trying to get back up above th think i thought we'd get to 95 I, I really did um and we just didn't and then we started to note it in here around this 1132 and then that moved back down to 80 uh, and then trending 75, 80. We even talked about 75 uh, and how they kind of pulled and added up here at 80. So we liked 80 better. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's time to, to um, uh, uh, pass the baton to Tom here in just uh, just a minute here. Uh, but uh, some we, we should see this uh, uh, trending um, um, continue here. Uh, let's just zoom out and look at our bigger picture. And let me get rid of all these, all this stuff in here. Finally clean up that chart. But just go through and, and look for that event in here. Uh, and it, yeah, it was choppy. It was, this is tough. But just look how these, you know, people just get screwed over. They, 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 they get involved in it. They get stopped out. Um, they, they get involved down here yet again. And this is where they feel the squeeze and they get stopped out on the other side. It's just typical. It's typical behavior. Uh, and it's what makes the market gyrate back and forth like this. Um, and, then, uh, and then we got our bigger move here. So yeah, I would have taken some profit at 80, um, no doubt, uh, or even in front of it, 81, just looking for that move to unfold. Uh, and uh, yeah, I would like to say that uh, hopefully I looked at the bigger picture and I would have been holding for a bigger move here, right, on a higher time frame. Okay, and I would still be in it. Yeah, we're going to get pullbacks and they'll come back and they'll probably pull back to 80 or even a little bit higher, maybe 85. But we're, we're starting to trend now. We've, we've crossed the, uh, the, the European close here. 
67 next via 72. So I like 70. I, I kind of like, I, I, I like to see like how long these guys have been in here. Like they were here around this kind of 68 level, it looks like 69, something like that. Um, and you can see kind of a flip in the order book here also. For, at 80 on the bid, now they're on the offer. Okay, so we should we should continue to see the trend here. <laughs> uh, uh, fatal. Um, wow, 15 trades, 70% winners. Crazy. Um, I, I really, it, this is not a trade recommendation room. Uh, I, I'm really happy to hear that you, you did really well. I, but uh, it, um, this this is only for educational purposes. Uh, you know, we we really, um, I, I encourage people not, not, not even to trade in, uh, uh, in SIM. Uh, just read it and then go, hmm. All right, well, I saw this uh, order flow unfold therefore i'm looking you know and, and it's a context it's not just one event it's multiple events that we're looking at and then and then we're looking for the move uh uh to 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 unfold and like did it did what's what's that scenario going to look like and then you know what it looks like uh and then you can start to go through it now now i i understand it i understand what it looks like uh and uh, now how can i manage it So, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just think it's a quicker path to, to learning personally um, because um, uh, you avoid the bias and the emotion uh, you, that's not part of the equation, right? Even in demo, you, you, you can get emotional uh, and, and, you know, and, and hard-headed, stubborn. And then add to losers, etc. Um, and uh, boy, that's just uh, you know not not the path. Uh, so having that kind of emotional um, flexibility uh, by not being involved in a trade and just like kind of watching and waiting and and looking for scenarios to unfold. No, but that's that's awesome though. Like seventy percent winners, yeah. And, and and if you're looking for you know like like we covered this move into 80 here, um, we're looking for it to to unfold immediately due to the order flow what we saw in here. We're looking for it to unfold, uh, and uh, it should. Uh, and if it doesn't, okay, well you know something else happened and maybe some other big event happened in there. Uh, but uh, we're looking for it to unfold now, and it should. Um, and maybe something else is wrong. Now this higher time frame move has taken a while. Uh, we see the back and forth and the back and forth, the breakdown back to where it broke down from, and then the, the, the stronger move in here. Uh, and we, we saw it, we, we yeah, I don't know, we covered many different things in here. Uh, and we saw this move and we're even open to the move back up into to 08 here. And they didn't, they didn't even break the structure. And then once we saw lower high, lower high, more selling, um, on the higher, we, we mentioned it on the higher time frame. We're looking for the continuation. It's everything is telling us in the order flow it should. There is just one big caveat here, and it's a big one, and that is at European close. Like we don't know, um, and uh, we just might be you know see some some really big back and forth in here. <laughs> anyway, uh, that, uh, yeah, uh, you know, that's a great, great uh, uh, percentage there, win percentage. And uh, yeah, that's a, a lot of scalping back and forth. All right, guys, look at the, see the buying coming in right now. Okay, and then here, we, we now we're, we, you know, we're starting to break some of the structure on high volume. Okay, okay, let's see them come up to 82 and then 85 here. Let's see if they can do it. Okay, now that would be the scenario here. Even We even made a low, a higher, kind of equal high and now a higher high and a higher low. Looking for more buyers to reach 82 and 85. Okay, now the opposite scenario here. 
is uh, selling back down probably about here, you know, where, the, where these buyers came in. All right, and then, and then maybe trend continuation here. Okay, let's see it. One more move. Let's see the push. 82, 83, and then maybe 85. Order book and balance looks looks nice. Should be able to hit it. Should be able to hit this 80, 82 and a half, 83. There it is. There's our move. Okay, and then immediate see the immediate sell off there. Now why? This is where the sellers came in. You can look at your volume profiles too. Like there's a little node here, but like this is really this is where the sellers want us. They're going to support it here. Typically, that's what we look for. Now, if they get upended, they'd be buying back up above it. All right, uh, Tahoe seventy seven. You don't have book map, but briefly used several, several years ago. How do you use the iceberg stops indicator at the bottom of the chart? Uh, um, well, there's many different ways uh, on chart and and sub chart uh, to look at it. Uh, now the way the way that uh, we um, use it uh, in these webinars, and and I also um, encourage you guys to to use it this way. It's not a signal; it's a confluence. So order flow rules first, and then we're looking to see like, oh, okay, well we have we're on the side of like you know larger iceberg purchasing, uh, and uh, we see a lot of uh, aggressive buyers come in, um, and we have an order book skew uh, that's gives us a kind of bias to the upside. Great, you know, um, we know we're on uh, the side of uh, order flow and larger players. Just because there's larger players transacting doesn't doesn't mean anything like with the icebergs uh you know they 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 can absorb things against them many times over uh it depends depends on the player of course uh but uh, a lot of times on these trending days what we see is a lot of times uh let's say high liquidity getting filled even even just with the liquidity not even icebergs but you'll see icebergs getting filled on lower lows in the trend and at a certain point, th there's just no more selling, uh, and uh, and then we look for those buyers to come in, and then we look for, you know, get kind of an idea, like for example, where these icebergs got in, where would they start to be in profit? Like here's a bunch of icebergs in here, uh, also a bunch over here, um, and um, yeah, so where would they in the bigger picture, where would they be in profit? It would be back up above. 4,500 basically. So there, there's that opens the potential for looking for a potentially big mean reversion trade. Okay, and we could look for something like this or this. Yeah, the, the numbers here, these are stops. The the red are stops, the blue are icebergs. If they're below the market or the price action, these were sellers. I, I'm sorry, buyers, buyers. They're 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 buying here. Um and um uh if it's above, they're they're sellers. Right? It, it's like limit orders, it's like liquidity. This is sell liquidity up here, buy liquidity down below. Yep. All right, guys. Well let, let's see. Uh uh I want to wrap it up here. I I I'm um, I go to, I think, a little too long recently um, uh, in these webinars, uh, but uh, some good stuff in here. And I, you know, uh, kind of navigating choppy market um, and understanding the order flow that leads to that kind of choppy market. Uh, and uh, once you start to see that behavior, like, you know, it, like if you don't feel comfortable with it, just don't trade it. Uh, but uh, if you do feel comfortable uh, trading it, like, my God, you know, um, uh, you, you can you can kind of rack up some some nice uh, uh, you know some nice uh, uh, winners. 
Yeah, you're welcome, David. Yeah, thank you. Really appreciate it. Um, so uh, yeah, we'll we'll go we'll you know continue to go through uh, these uh, order flow events here, and I'll ask more questions for you guys, like you know, uh, and go through these scenarios here. Uh, you know where where price might go based on what we're seeing in the order flow and the structure. Uh, it's always this context here uh, of these three elements on the bookmap chart. So look at look at the move now. Right, we got it. We had the move higher. We broke the structure. We even made a higher a higher low here, and here we go again. You know, buyers come right back in. You know, we're seeing a, a potential uh, mean reversion trade now. Okay, we, we just talked about. You know, something like this. Okay, all right, guys. We'll wrap it up. Uh, maybe when you get an area you're looking for to show how to turnaround is valid um yeah yeah i mean like um a gazoo like uh, basically it's like um where the we're looking to see who's in control and where they take control and then like how it's confirmed it's in control right and usually it has to deal with a, a price structure break um and uh and and a lot of volume like that just moves it away from an area uh and then uh uh you know it starts to maybe transact in that area so let's just take a look at this here so higher time frame and then I'll go um, so uh, higher time frame uh, you know the mean reversion would be like okay well here's our breakdown you know here here's that massive selling here what if we get our buyers back up into it um, and then you know back up into uh, uh, even here 90 uh, you know the, the the mean reversion is basically 4500 So and we're, we're we we don't know yet um, if that's going to unfold or not. Have they really decisively taken control? Well, we know they're probably going to come up to this 85 level here. It looks pretty good that at least they're going to do that. So anyway, um, let's see here. Oh, thank you, Jr. and uh, also Fabio. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. I uh, really appreciate it, um, uh, guys. So uh, yeah, let's um, uh, enjoy the weekend, everybody. Uh, we'll um, look for uh, Tom to uh, start uh, uh, streaming here real soon. And uh, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad you guys are finding these uh, valuable here. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it's just we're, we're looking for kind of shifts in 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 kind of like in in power here uh, in the, in the order flow, uh, and uh, and then looking for continuation uh, in it, right? So our move into eighty five, right? Look at the vol, look at the volume there. It's pretty big, right? And and we're now back up above all of this selling here. We're looking for a squeeze now. We can get back up to ninety. Look, look for the, uh, you know, this kind of high volume node here as well. Like this, or even better yet, this is where the sellers dropped it. Okay, 87, 88, somewhere, somewhere around here. Look, let's see if we can get buyers to, to, to make it back up there. All right, guys. Have a good weekend, everybody. I'll have the recording back up here pretty soon. Uh, so uh, it, I kind of botched that recording a little bit. Um, it's going to be about halfway or, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes into it. Uh, but uh, uh, anyway uh we'll we'll take it from there okay all right have a good weekend everybody take care